I'm Nick Moore and this is the new Kramer VS44 H2A. It's our first HDMI matrix switcher for HDMI 2.0 supporting HDCP 2.2. That means it supports resolutions up to 4K60 with 444 color subsampling. Not only does it switch any one of the four HDMI 2.0 inputs to any one or all of the HDMI 2.0 outputs, but it also de-embeds and switches balanced analog audio and SPDIF. Now let's have a look at the front panel. From left to right, we can see the IR sensor and the IR indicator which lights yellow when it detects an infrared signal. The all button, which allows any one of the inputs to be easily sent to all of the outputs and an off button that disconnects an output when selected. Next we have the four input and output selector buttons. Next we have the store and recall buttons that allow a configuration to be saved and stored for later recall. We have a lock button that provides a panel lock for the front of the unit and the EDID button which is used during the process of storing an EDID from the output of the VS44 H2A to any or all of the inputs and for the use of the default EDID. Finally, we have the blue LED displays that indicate which input is being routed to which output. To show you how easy it is to use the all function, we just press the all button and then the desired input. If I want to disconnect an output, I select the output and then press off. Now let's take a look at the back of the unit. On the top row, we have four SPDIF outputs and below them, we have the four HDMI 2 inputs. Back on the top row, we have four analog audio outputs that can be configured either as balanced stereo or unbalanced stereo. And below them, we have the four HDMI 2 outputs. The control section features a USB port for firmware upgrades and Ethernet, RS-232 and IR ports for control. Finally, we have the power socket and on-off switch. For more information on Kramer's range of HDMI 2.0 and HDCP 2.2 products, please visit our website. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.